Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I am Daniel and welcome to the season finale of this João Almeida's Pro Cyclist mode here on PCM 2020 and that is right we are here on the last episode, this is the season finale and we are going to make three races today the first one is the Arctic Race of Norway as we can see four stages the first two are just flat stages and then the, the, the other two are hilly stages so let's see how we are going to race this race and then to culminate this good season we have the Grand Prix of Quebec and Montreal in Canada so I think we these two Grand Prix can be a good thing for us because it is a classic and uh, I think we got a chance in that if if there are not too many riders on a good shape but we'll see but yeah right now it is the Arctic Race of Norway as I said two flat stages with some uh, mountains throughout the, the stages so I guess my main goal is going to be fight for the KOM jersey of course because that's only one of my goals to get a distinctive jersey and I'm saying that because at our team we're going to have Julian Alaphilippe, Bob Young so we are not going to be the best here I think we're going to be a row of three elements so I'm going to try to get in the breakaways to get those mountain points really because as I said throughout the whole season all I want to do is to be a distinctive rider to gain anything and uh, I think to win a distinctive jersey is the, a very good result for a race so that's what I'm going to do and so guys here we are start of the first stage and uh, already I'm on the attack and uh, I don't know if that's going to be possible if the peloton will let me go to the breakaway but I will try so let's see what is going to happen and so guys here we are already closing in on the first climb of the day and uh, we have a plus three days and some attacks are happening right now and yeah, as, as I was saying we have a plus three days so we are in a very good shape and I think we can win this uh, oh my god and uh, as I'm speaking I'm making a mess come on drone damn it what am I doing at least second place okay oh god yeah I think I can win this uh, jersey in this first uh, stage as, as I was saying because I think we are one of the best here on the breakaway and with the plus 3 day we are very very good position really because plus 4 on mountain and hill and I think we can do it uh, of course as I was talking and playing I, I did not pay attention and uh, I made a mess but second place for us let's go for the next climb and so guys here we are on the last 4 kilometers of this next climb and uh, let's see if this time we can win uh, at the summit and now attacks are beginning to, to occur and I'm attacking as well but I don't want to lose all my energy so yeah we are on the last 500 meters come on João I don't have the pace how can this be possible what Maybe I'm not that strong, I, I don't know where we at at this just third place, damn it, again Bistrom is the strongest, 20 points, oh my god, what the hell Oh my god, the breakaway does not, is not understanding themselves and there are attacks, this is not good Come on João I'm falling behind, come on To the front mate please as we are entering the next intermediate sprint and the, the next mountain points but right now it's not looking good for João Almeida and so guys the winner of today's stage it is Matteo Mohoric and the Julian Alaphilippe comes in 9th place from our team and then João Almeida comes in 49th position with the same time as the first which is a bit hot because we were behind and I wanted to lose a bit of time but that doesn't happen which is a shame because I don't know if now they are going to let me go into the breakaway but we'll see in terms of the classification of the mountain we are in fourth place with the same points as the second and third with 18 points and 
Eric Bistrom is the strongest with 30 points so this man maybe is better than us I don't know but I talked too soon and I I, I was hope that uh, I could get the maximum points in this stage but it doesn't happen so I need to be more careful and to play a little bit better and so now for stage number two it is a pretty flat stage with no mountain points available so this is for the sprinters really maybe I will show you the last kilometer of the stage if not I will just show you the results and here are the results for stage number two Ryan Gibbs is the winner from NTT and from our team that is it. there is nobody in the, the first position because it was a sprint so we don't have sprinters but all arrived with the same time of course João Maida I lost time with him on purpose so we lost two minutes and uh, I'm doing that on purpose because for the next stages I want to get some freedom to, to attack so right now we are 2 minutes and 36 seconds down on the overall classification on 63rd position and of course my goal is the KOM jersey so I want to have some freedom to do that and uh, let's hope that uh, we can do it now on stage number 3 who, who is a stage that it's a bit tricky with uh, a very hilly finish and some mountains throughout the whole stage so let's go right away into the stage and uh, hopefully into the breakaway as well and so guys here we are start of the race and uh, as you can see we have a second category climb right away here at the start we are already less than three kilometers to the the summit and some attacks already happening and we have a minus three day that is not great at all but we are going to try to do something of course as these guys are trying to attack but they are doing nothing João Almeida with his pace, come on let's see if I can uh, pass at the front because that's what I wanted at least on this summit and I'm doing that right now very well João Almeida pass is at the front of this first summit so yeah we are now in second place with two points down from the first one and some attacks already happening but I'm not going to attack and yeah let's see what's going to happen for the next climb and so guys somehow I managed to get in the breakaway here at halfway through the stage we are 15 kilometers away from the third intermediate uh, sprint of the mountains and yeah on the second uh, on the second summit I didn't score any points because I was not able to go to the breakaway so right now I'm still in second place but these guys up here I think it is Mike Gogo that is not here they are a bit dangerous so I'm glad that I'm making to the breakaway and hopefully I can fight for the points in this next summit and we are on the last five kilometers of this climb and uh, the breakaway is with a pace a bit high I don't know why they are, there were some attacks and of course there will be more attacks here so I need to be ready for that let's go put a pace in it although they are already with a very high pace and I'm getting behind already damn it come on Joel this minus 3 day doesn't help at all it's going to be difficult to score some points but I will try to do that as we are one and a half kilometer to go now attacks are occurring and I cannot do nothing, come on João last kilometer fight for our life João, come on but damn it, it's not possible, I will not score any points and now I'm at third position because Jakobo Mosca has equalized the first place with 30 points and so guys, this was a very difficult stage really but from our team, Rune Laflip is the winner of today's stage, so it is a big thing for us but uh, as I was saying it was not good for us because we only scored points for the mountain in the first mountain we, and then uh, we didn't score any more points because we didn't have the capability of getting the breakaway therefore I didn't score more points only 10 points today because that minus 3 they didn't help at all so right now we are in third place with 10, 28 points and the first and second places are with 30 points so we are not that far away 
and uh, Julian Alphilippe as well here behind us so yeah I don't know it, it is not looking good for us right now but we have stage number four who again it's a hilly stage and uh, let's hope that we can uh, get in a breakaway this time and uh, score points to hold on to the jersey and so guys here we are for the last stage we are far away from the finish but I just want to get you an update of the stage I'm in the breakaway without of energy and um, I did my job that uh, because I'm a row of teammate I did my job in the peloton I worked for 25 kilometers and then I attacked to get in the breakaway but it's not getting easy as always I don't know why but we are one minute ahead of the peloton but the guys don't stop working and uh, therefore I don't have the energy to work and uh, soon I will be dropped if this continues like this I don't understand why they don't drop the pace a little bit because we are far away from the peloton already and I cannot gain energy in this way this is not looking good for us but of course we're going to try to get some points for the mountains and uh, the attacks are coming we are on the last two kilometers of the summit and the attacks starting to happening and of course these guys now are out of energy but the, some of them are continue attacking let's attack as well but I'm getting out of energy I don't know if I will be able to do it let's see this almost there I'm in the front right now but no oh my god I'm going to be third place damn it and right now we are on the lead with 38 points but still the margin is not that great for the other guys I want it to be a bit bigger but oh well it is what it is we need to work what we have let's go for the next climb and so here we are for the next climb we are on the last kilometer and, and the, the attacks occurred of course Juan made the attack as well and I give everything that we have but of course it was not enough and therefore just the second place on this summit and uh, it's not the maximum points once again and now for the last 30 kilometers of the stage we are all together in the peloton João Maida here in the front and the guys in the peloton are with a pace really high Daniel was from Bora Asgum putting a very high pace I don't know why but they are doing that but João Maida is hanging on very well here in the front of the peloton putting his own pace and going very well so I attack on the last few meters and we secure the maximum points here so right now we have 62 points more than double from the second place so it's looking good for João Maida and now for the penultimate climb it's the same thing João Maida putting a pace in front of the peloton doing his own pace but out of nowhere the border guys almost look like an attack and uh, I was caught off guard I didn't expect it and therefore I'm not going to score the maximum points here but I score the points enough to hold to the jersey we now have 70 and the other guy didn't score so this jersey is ours I believe and so guys in the end Oscar Rodriguez is the winner of the last stage and uh, ourselves we didn't hang on until until the end or, or in the last climb we didn't score any points but we managed to get a respectable 11th place which is amazing and Ala Philippe wins the overall classification so another good thing for our team and there yeah, on the on the mountain points of course 70 points was enough and we won this jersey so it's a great thing we we did what we wanted to do in this race so that's fantastic of course and so right now we are in Canada and we are going to race the Grand Prix of Quebec and as you can see maybe it's not a race for João Maida because as we see we have again Bob Youngos and Julian Alaphilippe in our team so it means of course it's for Alaphilippe to try to win this Grand Prix because he's the favorite of course but João Maida will try to do his best of course and so as you can see we are a teammate which means of course we need to work in front of the peloton for 30 kilometers so that's what I'm going to do right away and so guys we did our job we complete the work as you can see we did better than that and maybe I will continue to work for a little bit more 
get more points to evolve João Almeida, but for now I'm going to stick here with Ala Philippe and yeah, let's go to the last kilometers of the, the race. And so we are already on the last 4 kilometers of the race and the João Almeida is pretty good on the wheel of Ala Philippe, but of course we don't have the necessary energy to do anything, I believe. But I'm going to try, of course, I'm putting my own pace because there is a climb to the finish here and uh, I will try to do something because I'm in, on a very good position although I just got blocked here from a guy from LG2R which is not great and therefore I'm a bit behind and I, I'm starting my sprint and I think I started very early because as you can see I'm out of energy already and in the front Ala Philip is going for the victory but no Michael Matthews is the winner of this Grand Prix and Ala Philippe just second place and third place for our teammate as well Florence Seneschal so overall it's not that bad for our team but for João Almeida it was not that good and as I said Michael Matthews is the winner Ala Philippe was very close but it was not enough João Almeida just on the 29th position that early sprint was not the best and therefore we did not make a good uh, performance in the end but we did our job, we complete the objective, so that's what matter. And now we have the Grand Prix of Montreal, so again another classic in Canada. And of course we know it's not for us once again, our job is just to help Jorge and Ala Philippe to go to victory, so again let's do our job. And uh, our job is done already, we completed the 30 kilometers in front of the peloton, but I'm going to work a little bit more to gain more points of course to upgrade the João Almeida faster because we want that we want to progress even more with João Almeida and we are already on the last kilometer of the race I have to use the special cameras to see who is in the front because João Almeida is behind and it seems that it's Jasper Steven in the front alone and he's going for the victory Jasper Steven is victorious Ala Philippe is going for the second place but no Thibaut Pinot just is the second place and Shackman third place so a life flip just on the fourth place for our team and so guys as you can see we did an exceptional job working in front of the peloton so our job is done very well more points to level up João Maida and yeah guys this is it for the first season the first season is over no more races until 2021 for João Maida I think we did fantastic really because we won a couple of mountain jerseys, we won the national uh, road race which is a big thing I believe, so that, that is the first big accomplishment for João Almeida and uh, we got the whole new year to rock that national champion jersey and the new challenge ahead of us, so we'll see what is going to happen but for now this is it. I hope you like it, don't forget subscribe because season 2 is right around the corner and yeah, leave a like, stay safe, bye bye.